Hello everyone, I'm Mary Jo Hughes. You are joining us this evening where incumbent Mayor Mike Manning will be sworn in his second term as mayor of the city of Watervliet. Mayor Manning's first term, through his innovation and foresight, has brought the city to unprecedented levels in ratings and economic growth, all while saving the taxpayers hundreds of thousands of dollars. Now let's join in the swearing-in ceremony. United States. Take this opportunity to welcome you to our great city of Waterville, and for a very special occasion for his second term as mayor of the city of Waterville, we're here this afternoon for his swearing-in ceremony. I'd like to take a moment to introduce some of the dignitaries that we have in the room with us today. Uh, first, I'd like to introduce our retired congressman, a good friend to the city of Waterville, Congressman Michael McNulty. Again, another good friend to the city of Waterville. He's, he's been responsible for many, many grants that we've received here, and that's Senator Neil Breslin. And another gentleman who is uh, very responsible for the city to, to have received many grants and, and awards, Assemblyman Ron Canistrari. And from our good neighbor next to us, the Waterville Elite Arsenal, we're very proud to have Colonel Mark Migaletti with us today. And from the county, I'm very proud to announce that we have with us our Sheriff-elect, Craig Apple. I'm also very proud to announce that we have with us our county-elect, Albany County Executive, and currently still serving as, as the Albany County Legislative Chairman, our, my very good friend, Dan McCoy. And serving our great city of Waterville as Albany County Legislators, we have with us Bob Beston. And to my right here, Sean Ward. Also with us, our Albany County Coroner, Tim Cavanaugh, who also serves the city of Waterville as the Waterville Democratic City Chairperson. We have also with us Deputy Chief Matt Campbell from the Albany County Sheriff's Department. And we have with us two very special people who work side by side with our great mayor of the city of Waterville. First, I'd like to introduce to you Councilwoman Ellen Fogarty and Councilman Nick Foglia. I'm also very proud to announce that we have with us our retired councilman, Charles J. Diamond. From our city court system, Judge Susan Reinfurt. From the Waterville City School District, and I'm not sure how to say this. Paul, are you still our superintendent? <laughs> Where is it? Till the 6th. Superintendent Paul Padolino. And also uh, the principal from Waterville High School, soon to be superintendent of Waterville City School System, Lori Kaplan. I'd also like to thank our police chief, Ron Boyce, for being here today. Our fire chief, Scott Skinner. And foremost for the city of Waterville, the man who does our daily business and runs our city administration, the general manager from the city of Waterville, Mark Gleason. I'd like to thank all of our current employees who are here with us today from the fire department, the police department, and our civil service employees from the public works department and public um, safety departments. We thank all of you for being here. Thank you. <laughs> um, I'd like to thank 
uh, for her second term, uh, the newly elected town supervisor from the town of Colony, Paula Mahan. <laughs> Welcome, Paula. Thank you. I believe I have everybody. Uh, we want to thank all of you for being here at the J. Lee O'Brien facility, and we're very proud now to have the swearing-in ceremony for his second term as the leader of the great city of Waterville, known to all of you here today, Mayor Michael P. Manning. And we're going to ask his brother, Matt Manning, to come forward and administer the oath of office to Mayor Mike P. Man Michael P. Manning. Who's going to hold the Bible? I, Michael P. Manning. I, Michael P. Manning. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New York. And the Constitution of the State of New York. And that I will faithfully discharge. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of Mayor of the City of Waterville. The duties of Mayor of the City of Waterville. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Now, Mayor, if you would kindly sign your oath of office book for me, please. Hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, for his second term of office for the city of Waterville, I'm proud to introduce to all of you in attendance today, Mayor Michael P. Manning. Okay. It's going to be a, uh, a short ceremony today, and we'll, we'll keep it moving here. Um, I'd like to start off, there's a, a ton of thanks, and I hope I, I mention everyone, but uh, first of all, thanks everyone for attending today. Uh, we were struggling with a good time to do this, where we could get, allow people who want to attend, attend, and get on with the, uh, the holiday weekend here. So thank you very much for taking time from your schedules. Uh, I'd like to thank my family and my wife uh, for getting through four years and, and hopefully getting through four more, uh, as well as my friends who helped me get elected and surprisingly are still sticking around after four years. Um, the staff, as Bruce mentioned, we have a great staff here. Um, we've uh, implemented a lot of programs and there's a lot of uh, uh, autonomy passed down. The staff does a great job you know, running their departments and uh, under the umbrella that we've kind of all agreed to follow here. Um, that includes the department heads as well as the, you know, every member of our staff. That goes right down and flows right down to our, our temps and, and uh, the use that we hire, hire in the summer even. We're driving that, the, uh, the mission and the vision of the city down to that level and um, it's working out well so far. There's also the private businesses here in Water Elite as well as those that are our contractors and uh, provide services for us. They've been a big part of what we've been able to accomplish here the last four years and hopefully going forward. And uh, last but not least, although it's kind of anticlimactic this year, uh, I have to thank the voters for electing me, although they only had one choice this year. <laughs> um, but it, it's mostly, you know, I got to imagine it's the same ones who put me here four years ago. So hopefully I can... Uh, you know, meet expectations as we started out four years ago. Speaking of which, looking back, um, I've got a long list of things that we, we, we as the team, have pulled off here. Um, we would be here all night if I had to read them all, but just some highlights. We've installed docks and a boathouse with solar energy at our park. We've completed our first ever comprehensive plan. We've assisted with the Arsenal Partnership and the Arsenal Command 
and bringing three major company headquarters here to the city, uh, one of which located from, uh, from, you, from uh, the United Kingdom. We've used stimulus funds to uh, redo 19th Street, install solar projects, one which is on the roof of this building, and to retrofit the, uh, the energy system in City Hall. We've started an ambulance program that served us well here in the city, and recently uh, with our friends from Green Island, we just expanded that service. We've uh, applied for, uh, diligently put a lot of effort, uh, staff time into applying for grants at the federal, state, and county level. Um, we've got a little thermometer on our website which constantly needs updating because it's changing. We've gotten several million dollars in grants and we're very um, uh, proud that we've got it because we put a lot of effort into the grants and we're very thankful to our uh, congressional and state delegation that's uh, watching over us there to help us get those. We've addressed two DEC consent orders on, on two dams that most people probably don't know are even here. They're actually in Colony. And we handle a lot of Colony stormwater with those systems. Uh, we've obtained a FERC permit for a new five megawatt hydro plant that we're hoping to build in Rome, New York. And we've overhauled our existing uh, one and a quarter megawatt plant that's been in service since 1981. We brought that down for the first time since it was put in service, did a major overhaul, and uh, that's been up and running uh, with the, uh, the rain and wet weather we had, which were not pleasant and a tragedy for some. It's actually good news for us when we get a lot of rain and a lot of snow. We've brought refuse and recycling collection in-house, and that's been a, uh, a cost saver for us and in some cases a revenue generator. We ran a uh, first-time home buyer program in which we moved 30 homes during uh, you know, the down economy, which was uh, you know, quite a feat to do that um, during those times and, and in one, one locality like this inside Water of Elite. That was uh, both uh, single family and multifamily homes. We did 30 of them and we had people coming long after the grants were gone. We hope to be able to do that again. Again, I, I could keep going on, but uh, I'll turn now to look forward. And one good thing about having accomplished all those things I just read off is now, as I'm constantly reminded by friends who had access to grind when I ran, I can now focus on going after my political enemies in the next four years. <laughs> if I had any, but. In any event, looking forward, uh, there's still unbelievably a lot more to do. Uh, we hope to actually build the hydro plant in Rome that we have uh, the permit for, soon to get a license. We're going to expand uh, our refuse and recycling, which we brought in-house to include an organic waste uh, to energy program. We're about to start a 50 household trial of separating organic waste from our our main waste stream. We hope to continue with an active role working with the partnership and the Arsenal Command in, in further developing that site and supporting the mission of the Arsenal. We intend to still vigorously pursue grants at all levels for rehab, economic development, and in infrastructure programs which we've gotten over the last four years. We, keep, uh, we plan to continue to explore shared service opportunities uh, as a minimum to study them. We've studied some. Uh, some are turning out that they're not as uh, beneficial to all parties as they might seem. And some are turning out that they will be. And uh, we hope to do that with, with both the county, uh, the state, and our, our, again our neighbors in the surrounding communities. And overall our main goal has been for four years and will continue to be to deliver the highest quality services at the best value to the taxpayers and continue to as most of us who still live here and uh, keep coming back to Water Elite to continue to make Water Elite great. So I'll close with that. Again, thank you for coming. We're going to have a small reception. If you just turn right around, we're welcome to stay. And uh, again, uh, sincere thanks to everyone who's helped the Water Elite team do what we've done the last four years and stick around because um, the next four could be even better. Thank you very much.
Once again, on behalf of Mayor Michael Manning and his family, we thank you so very much for taking time from all of your busy schedules to attend this swearing-in ceremony this afternoon. As you've heard from the mayor, we have some great refreshments in the back. Please stay, enjoy our hospitality. God bless all of you, God bless America, and God bless our troops that are serving our country today. Thank you, everybody. As 15th mayor of the city of Waterville, Mayor Mike Manning, congratulations on your second term. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now you realize the importance of energy efficiency. Back in 2008, as mayor, you helped dozens of families with safety and energy improvements to their homes. The city as a whole is going green, saving taxpayers tens of thousands of dollars and encouraging individual citizens to do so as well. That's correct. Uh, and some of the, uh, the uh, turning it out to the households in the city was really just us introducing them to programs that were there. It's not our programs, so we can't take credit for that, but we can take credit for the introduction. Uh, and then we've, we've done the same thing, you know, looking inside at our operations, trying to do whatever we can to be efficient. And uh, you know, we were lucky enough to get stimulus money and do a couple of these solar projects to get subsidized because otherwise you, you can't afford those. But now uh, we're about six months into the uh, solar project here at the center and at the firehouse, and we're seeing our bills uh, go down about 70%. So, I mean, very significant. And uh, we're very thankful for getting the stimulus funds and uh, thankful that uh, we're able to implement stuff like that because it, it doesn't just happen, of course. In 2010, the city purchased its own ambulance, which has generated revenue for the city, but more importantly, has reduced the call time to the people who need it. Yes, uh, we were lucky enough, again, to have in place a very good paramedic program. So the, it was a, you know, the next logical step for us was to add transporting to that. And under the direction of Chief Klickner and, and at the time, Captain uh, Scott Skinner, who was our medical director, uh, with support from uh, Dr. Michael Daly, who was our regional uh, medical coordinator, uh, we were able to, uh, you know, implement, a, you know, fairly complicated program as far as, you know, paperwork, licensing, and whatnot. So we, we made the jump. Uh, we served what of Leet very well for, you know, since 2008. And as I said in my my comments, we've just expanded that into Green Island. So. Um, it's a better service for the city, but it's also, uh, you know, because of the way the uh, insurance system is set up, we also get paid for, for that, too. So I think it's on its own merits. It would have been good for us just to do it for the city, but getting paid for it is uh, gravy. <laughs> the city launched its own refuge and recycling program, which I understand has made over $400,000 in the past four years. Tell us about that. Uh, it's probably made $400,000 in savings because we were paying to have our refuse and recyclables picked up. But we've also gotten pretty frugal on you know how much waste we're going to allow folks to throw out and how much we have to take to the landfill. And also, we, we've uh, each year we go out and we try to get the best deal we can for our recyclables. So we're, we're paying to dump refuse, but we're getting paid for our recyclables. And again, as I said in my comments, you know, next year we hope to further subdivide the waste into organic waste and not, and hopefully either generate savings through that or, or make money through that. You have secured many grants for the city. Tell us about that. Um, well, we've, uh, as I said again, we've put a lot of effort into looking at the grants, evaluating the fit, and then you know, being prepared and having a, a program to meet that fit. Uh, we've got ideas in the pipeline that we're able to, when a grant that fits comes out, you know, we're able to fit that in without uh, a lot of uh, uh, 
consternation. You know, we have staff that are almost exclusively writing grants, which is the good news. Uh, the kind of not the bad news of a grant, but also once you get them, you actually have to administer them and follow the rules of how the money flows and uh, is is um, followed up on. So, you know, good news is we're getting a lot of grants. The other good news slash bad news is that you know there's a lot of responsibility with it. So, we have to constantly be looking that we don't you know fill our plate too much. As mayor, the city's bond rating jumped up in unprecedented three levels, the best rating Waterville ever had. That is true, and you know we don't control the bond rating directly, of course, but we've been uh, we had a goal to have a our financial house in shape, and we've done that, and I think we've taken it to levels uh, that were unexpected in the, the economic times we've been having, and I think the fact that we're in shape and doing it in these times was what uh, made us stand out because all of these rating systems are relative. So we, you know, we stood out above, and we were rewarded for that by having our rating increase. So we're very proud of that. And, you know, now the challenge is to keep it up there. <laughs> when you took office, the city had a deficit of a half a million dollars. And now four years later, the city has a surplus of $1.1 million. What are your main goals in the coming term? Well, uh, now that we have the, the, the fund balance, the $1.1 million, our, our, one of our goals is to keep it there. You know, it's kind of the, the only way you can prepare for the, the rainy day. Um, so we, we hope to keep that there. Um, it's very difficult. We were fortunate enough that during the last years of my term, we were able to build it up because now with uh, costs increasing so much, it's very hard to build a fund balance. So, you know, we, we feel we'll be lucky if we can maintain it. And by maintaining it, we hope to uh, translate that to the taxpayers by keeping the rates as flat as possible, you know, uh, our our real goal is to stay below inflation, and if we feel we can be doing that, we're we're doing okay. What are your visions? Um, I, w funny you should ask. We actually we we don't have a uh, a formal vision and mission statement, which was one of my goals over the last four years to do, but we were so busy that got sidetracked. But. Uh, you know, my, my vision for the city is that we are, uh, we should be a role model of a great place and safe place to live, work, and raise a family. That would, that would be, you know, the vision, uh, in my mind, so that if, when you talk about what of Leap, someone's either saying, yeah, I'd like to live there, yeah, I'd like to work there, or yeah, I'd like to raise my family there, and I, I think that would be validation that we're really doing our job. That's a great note to end on. We wish you much success in your coming term, and we thank you for all that you've done. And again, Mayor Mike Manning, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thanks for your support, and Happy New Year, everyone. Thank you for watching Mayor Mike Manning's swearing-in ceremony in Waterville. And thank you for watching your award-winning WVLT Channel 17. I'm Mary Jo Hughes.